Welcome to brand new convo where I'm about to chew y'all asses out. I want y'all to see and hear what I'm saying. Hello? Hello? Are we there? Come and talk to me. I really wanna meet you. Cause I need to know what is going on because I'm not sure if it's quarantine or whatever, but people really out here acting as if that they're not God's creation. Like you act like you were made, like, like God made you by mistake. It was just like, dang. Well, I got two extra legs and two extra arms, so if it, I might as well put this person together. Like, there was no intentional, the intentionalness in your life. Like, there was no purpose. There was no extra razzle-dazzle in your creation. So then you just be out here in the world settling. And you be living life, but you don't be living life. Well, Brandy, what you mean by that? And why are you so freaking aggressive? Because people out here acting like napkins at a restaurant. Whether I get my food or not, I'm not about to wait for no napkins to come to the table before I eat because I want the food. I, that's that's what I'm here for. Y'all are y'all out here whole meals, okay? You are the signature dish in a restaurant. You out here acting like napkins, like f niggas can buy you in bulk and stuff, and that's a gender neutral word. But me acting like folks, just you just like I, I just I don't understand. And I'm sitting here like maybe quarantine is the reason that folks out here just taking whatever they can get, however they can get it, because they feel the end is near. And my whole thing is love, beloved, sus sir someone's daughter someone's son is that um unless you had a conversation with god and was like okay listen here god you know what i'm saying like it's real ghetto on earth so if you want to come get me around 30 then by all means like let's make it happen you let me know what's going on in your schedule and i'll talk to you later okay amen if that's not the conversation you having with god why are you living like you don't got time like i don't have time to find somebody that respect me i don't have time for somebody that's gonna be patient with me i don't have time for someone that's gonna put my best interest at heart i don't have time for my dreams like who do you think created you i, don't, I just don't understand that like, do you not see the god in you do you not understand how god plays a part in your entire creation is is is, is that the disconnect because i'm here to tell you ugh, that you were put on this earth uh, for a purpose. Mm, I don't know what the purpose is. And that's why you gotta talk to him. Because you cannot keep relying on the prayers of your grandmother. Because you gotta have your own relationship with God. So go ahead and have that relationship with God. So that you can figure out what in the world you're here. Because you're not here by mistake. And I don't like to see people out here settling. Stop acting like you napkins in a restaurant. Because they're unimportant. If there was a restaurant that had no napkins, you think that there's, there's going to be Yelp reviews? Like, man, they don't never have napkins. No, because that's not what they came there for. Stop acting like like you, like your napkins, like you plastic utensils. Like, you know, because some folks, they don't like eating regular utensils at a restaurant. So they ask for plastic utensils, but the restaurant only has silverware. You think, you think, that's what you think? That's what you think of yourself? You think you the plastic utensils at a, like, ain't nobody come to see you. You're not that important. It's okay to be humble, but you also got to realize that it is a slight to God to not realize how good you are, to not realize that there is some intent in your life, to not realize that there is some purpose in your life. That is blasphemy. I don't care at whoever I said what I said. That's blasphemy to not see the God in yourself. To sit here day by day thinking it is what it is. It is what it's going to be. I'm going to take whatever I'm going to take. And that's going to be it. Because I'm just here. For no purpose. There was no intent. I was just some leftover legs and arms and a torso. That God had just put together and then sent here. It was like, oh snap. Let me, ah, I, dang, I ain't even put that person down there. And I ain't even, I ain't, I ain't even give them no purpose. I ain't give them no worth. My bad. Do you believe that God is a God of mistakes or not? Because I don't. I think my God is very intentional. Meaning he's intentional in the creation of you. So see the God in yourself. Okay? And stop being, stop settling for everything in your life. I don't care if 2020 come. If God come tomorrow, just let it be known that you tried, to, you did the, the best and you were going to your goal as much as you can be. Because there, because... 
at this point in time, if the end is near, there's no reason that y'all should be sharing a bed with somebody that you question it. There's no reason that you should be sitting here catching brunch with people that you don't fool with. There's no reason that you should be sitting in these grad school and PhD programs and you just like, you know what? This ain't, this just is not it for me. Why? Because the God in you says that you got to be true to yourself and your intentions. And if something is saying, oh, hell no, then you got to believe that. Okay, that's it. I'm done yelling at y'all for this evening. If anybody was wondering what that flickering was, you know, <clears throat> this is a black love candle. You know what? I'm just going to switch this over. Boom. Look at that. Black love symptoms candle. <clears throat> That you can cop if anybody was wondering why these lips looking like that well i tried to tell folks i shared it well i shared it with my team i ain't put it publicly but if you if you have a fit t beauty account then you would see it but this is pms okay they were two for 13 so i got pms and i put some sweet mouth on top of it <laughs> sweet mouth. and Brady, you get your nose piercing out. This, this is not a nose piercing. This is a nose clip, actually. There we go. And this is from... Okay, I'm assuming that that's J's the H. So, Tahani. Tahani, you know what I'm saying? And it's got a lot of cool stuff in here. It has a button. Uh, I can't do two things at once. Okay, it has a button. You know what I'm saying? It's got like a little tattoo. They kind of look like Janae at Aiko and Nipsey Hussle, low key, high key. And then there's a, a sticker as well. You don't see it. Oh, Brandy, what about this shirt? Oh, this shirt right here, niggas. This shirt right here, organic hustle. So if you're interested in all things ecological and agricultural, see it fell and all that good stuff, then hold on, let me put that back in, put my bling back in. Okay, it's not gonna stay. Anyway, if you're interested in everything agricultural and ecological, then get at them. Organic hustlers on IG. Follow them. I'm gonna tag them in the video. I'm gonna tag Fenty with the two, the lipsticks and lip gloss. And yeah, I just say all that to say, y'all, make sure that you are using deodorant. Make sure that you are flossing. Make sure that you are not settling in any form or fashion. Any form or fashion. Because one, 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 it's okay, I'ma just deal with it. That's a slippery slope, okay? So just, just don't do it. Um, and yeah, make sure you meditate, pray, wash your feet, get under your toes when you shower. And I'll catch y'all on Slip Flop. Peace.